Over the next few days, the Porter family continue to make progress. Look at this. Very impressive. Hmm? So you've done all this this morning? Excellent. With Maddie loving her newfound independence, both children are encouraged to help out more around the house. So what we have here is the tidy tree. <laughs> Empty the dishwasher, put dirty clothes in basket, put shopping away, small little things that contribute a long, long way. What do you think about that? Good. I'll help clear the table. I'll help set the table. Finally, Hayley and Meryl can enjoy spending time with their kids. what they need to be doing you know they need to be spending more time as a family so that they can really bond and start to heal from the breakdown of all the animosity that's built up over the years feed him to the lions quick feed him to the lions <laughs> but old habits die hard sit back down at the table mother we've got to say <laughs> Sit down yes, while I it... answer the door. <laughs> she just wants her own way all the time, and this is what she does. She hollers and has these tantrums. That's why it's so important for you to just to follow through with your composure and keeping calm. Before Super Nanny leaves, she has some final words of wisdom for Maddie. And everything that is being done in this house is because your mummy and daddy do love you and care about you. And they want the best for you, and that's why it's being changed. So that you grow up to be a very sensible young lady. So even if it doesn't seem good at the time and you don't like it and you get angry, it's there in place. So you do your bit. You do your bit, OK, so that they can do their bit. And she's got some parting advice for Mum, too. Okay. So you're going to go through the eye of the storm, trust me. When I'm gone tonight, yeah. you can go through hell and back. You are going to go through hell and back. Oh, yeah. So when you're going through the eye of the storm and you're like, my word, oh, I'm doubting myself, I don't know if this is going to work, I don't know if Joe's techniques are going to work, I'm doubting. You have a choice to either carry on or to give up. And you need to persevere and carry on. And that's what I've got to do. Otherwise, you've got trouble on your hands. Yeah, I know. Mate. I you've know. got trouble on your hands. I know. Super Nanny says her goodbyes. Yeah. She'll be back in a few weeks to see how they fared. Give me a big hug. And again. Oh, big hug. I'll see when I get back. Yeah. Remember Thank everything. You. Bye, Joe. Bye. bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. Thank bye. You. bye. bye, Madison. Bye. Say bye. bye. But for now, the family have to go it alone. Are they a little bit nervous? Yeah, they probably are, to say the least. I mean, Maddie's outbursts are no walk in the park. The real test is going to be how these parents are going to handle Maddie's behaviour. I just hope they continue to put everything in place because there's no reason why they can't come through this. But it's a slow process. I love you, Maddie. Mads. Mads. That's why I did three last night. I love you too, Madison. That's lovely. Thank you, darling. That's lovely. Over the next few days, Mum and Dad continue to make good headway. You were in here because you never asked, you never done what I asked you to do. Are you gonna say sorry? Sorry. Oh. Give us a cuddle and a kiss. They've both been more strict. Like, say, no, you will not do this. But I think it's going to teach us better. Madison and Harry seem to be taking their newfound responsibilities seriously. Both children make their beds every day, and Maddie continues to shower alone with no fuss. Feel nice and clean. Super Nanny made a point of encouraging mother and daughter to spend more quality time together. So this afternoon, they're going roller skating. But just ten minutes into the journey... Jeremy! Jeremy, can't you see? The show! Maddie is fixated on wanting Hayley to show her how to send a text message. I can't sit and show you when I'm actually driving the car, love. Show me. As Madison's frustration grows, 
So do the warning signs. Zoom it. Zoom it. Do not do that when I'm driving this car. Do not do that when I'm trying to drive this car. I can still hit you. I can still hit you. Mum, where are you going? Mum, where are you going? Enough is enough. Mum, where are you going? Where are you going? I want to do it. Absolutely no chance. How dare you? How dare you do that to me? When I said to you, I haven't, I cannot show you to do that phone when I'm driving. Your brain should have said to you, yeah, mummy can't show me now because she's driving the car. Nothing works with you. Nothing. So we're going to be sat here now all day, aren't we? That's fine. That's fine. I can sit here all day. I've got all day. I want to. Yeah, well, if you want to. I want to. Yes. Well, this isn't what you do when you want to do something, man. It don't work like that. I want to. I really want to do it. After a whole hour in the lay-by, the seatbelts are finally back on and Hayley can head home. I want to go to you. What is it when we get home? But Madison hasn't finished yet. Once home, it's straight into the reflection room. Two hours before Maddie eventually does her nine minutes of reflection time. And Mum finally gets an apology. Over the next few days, Maddie continues to rebel against the new regime. Tantruming day and night. Get up! No! Get up and despite their best efforts, Mum and Dad are feeling the strain. It's all right, honey. I can't turn up. Right. Don't swear Get at me. Back. Don't swear at me. Super Nanny is due back, but can she make a difference? Straight in the bud, Hayley. I'd have nipped that straight in the bud. <laughs>